Hello and welcome. Thank you for viewing this educational segment presented by Buying Behavior Metrics. I'm your host, Martin Smith, author of The New Exhibitor and The New Lean Six Sigma Orange Belt for Exhibitors. These and other exhibiting tools are available on our website at bbmgo.com. Please go to the site and make use of the tools. You will find them to be extremely valuable in implementing and improving your exhibiting and event purchase experience. Welcome. In this lesson, I'll do a brief overview of the define phase of the Lean Six Sigma DMAIC process, and then I'll introduce a new tool called the question map. So let's get started. During the define phase, the project scope is developed. This includes a project charter with goals and objectives, question mapping, brainstorming, problem statements, critical to quality characteristics or CTQs, and communication plans. It is during this phase that the exhibitor will define who the target attendee or customer is, what their requirements are for products or services, what their expectations are, what the project boundaries are or scope, who the team members will be, where the stop and start of the process is. It is also the phase where resultant metrics known as big whys are classified and theories regarding the potential outcomes are created. In addition, financial targets are quantified and assessed for return on investment and comparative analysis against the performance metrics for the core business. During the define phase, an exhibitor will define the roles and responsibilities of the team members, the scope of the project, the team and its objectives, the form of the business case, and the purchase experience process. It's essential to exhibitors that all activity in the DMAIC process is focused on the attendees or customers and their satisfaction. Exhibitors need to capture their current level of knowledge about customers, often referred to as tribal knowledge. This can be a starting point in making improvements. Even though this knowledge may be only a belief, a feeling, or simply a hope that has been passed on from generation to generation without considering the current customer needs, it is a starting point and from there they can dig deeper. Getting to a deeper level of understanding requires a tool to capture the current tribal knowledge and open the door for additional learning. This is best handled with a Q-map or question map. Simply put, a question map is a document that captures all of the questions of a project along with the corresponding answers by date. It also lists the relationship these questions have to one another and consequently shows how each question links and flows together, which ultimately leads to a deeper or root question. The root question is built on the observation that a person or organization's first reactions are often based on tribal knowledge and consequently bring to mind misguided questions. But if we can discipline our thoughts to look past these initial questions and look to deeper ones that are linked together, the questions themselves will lead to better results. This brings us to one of the first major Orange Belt mantras. Questions should always lead and answers should always follow. One of the guiding principles of root questioning is that deeper questions result in better answers and broaden our learning or inference space. So the root question is about asking deeper questions, and although there is no right or wrong way to start this question mapping process, here are some simple guidelines for getting to root questions in the defined phase. Begin with what or how questions. At the defined phase, it's important to focus on the what and how questions and hold off on the when, who, and why questions until later phases because it keeps the team focused and prevents finger pointing. Number two, use plural team-oriented nouns like us and we in order to create open exploratory brainstorming and build team chemistry. Number three, create detail using action words directed at resultants, that's little y's and big y metrics, and also at critical to quality characteristics. At this stage, it's most helpful to use words that promote active learning driven by measurement. Number four, use a standardized format for the team. Although there's no right or wrong way to capture questions, Lean Six Sigma exhibitors typically capture their questions in a box with black text and connect the questions that relate to each other with an arrow or set of arrows that shows the flow direction of the questions. Then they put answers to the questions below in red text and these are dated. Number five, start with high level questions and link them until you get to a root question. By asking questions from the top down, you will unify the team. To better facilitate the development of an exhibitor's question map, here is a collection of questions to consider, which have been gathered from other Lean Six Sigma exhibitors. These questions have proven helpful in driving the focus and bringing unity to exhibiting teams. 
Creating a question map can unify the whole team, focus their work, and also get to deeper learnings faster. At the show, the booth staff will be asked to create value for target attendees, and asking the right questions up front will help. Congratulations on completing this lesson. Please feel free to go to the website for more examples of question maps. In conclusion, allow me to thank you for your time in reviewing this material and for your interest in buying behavior metrics. It is our sincere desire to provide valuable offerings to help exhibitors create worthwhile purchase experiences and ultimately maximize their ROI. Please go to our website and explore all the online tools available at bbmgo.com. Thank you.